I made a small program to help you extract uh, base64 strings from, uh, from streams and uh, analyze them. It's called the base64 dump. So and I'm going to show you how to use it uh, when analyzing a malicious document with only dump that contains the payload encoded as uh, base64. Okay, so here we have the malicious document uh, with all the streams. Here you can see uh, macros. So let's take a look at the macros. I will select all streams and uh, dump the VBA code. Okay, so and here we see a base64 decode uh, function. And here is another script, another decode base64 function. And then here we can see script shell. So now it becomes interesting. You can see that a file is created called windows.exe and that text box one from user form is base64 decoded and then is assigned to variable exe which is then written to that file. And after that it is executed. So what happens here is that um, the base64 string that is in the text box 2 here is extracted, written to disk and executed. Well, let's take a look. Okay so here we see uh, user form 2, a couple of streams user form 2 and here a6 this is a, a large stream. So let us take a look. I select stream A6. Yeah, and this is uh, probably base64 encoded here, what you see here. So what you would have to do now is extract this and decode this as base64 and then analyze this. And that is why uh, I made that uh, small tool base64 dump to help you with that. So what you do now, so we select stream A6, we dump it and we pass this on to base64. Okay, and uh, that's it. So base64 dump found three base64 strings inside uh, that stream. Here are the sizes, uh, 400,728 bytes, 36 bytes and 4 bytes. And here you have the beginning of that base64 uh, text. So this looks like base64 encoded, this looks like uh, base64 encoded and here Excel, although it is uh, valid base64 encoding, this is probably not real base64 encoding. Next column here you have uh, the decoded base64 string. So you can see here this one starts with MZ. So this is uh, most likely a PVE file and executable. This one here is a scripting file system and this one here doesn't sell anything. And here you have the MD5 hashes of the decoded content of the base64. So you can use that to look it up for example uh, in VirusTotal. So let me select first that second stream. Okay, yeah, and you can see here it contains a string scripting file system object. And then the first stream, if we pipe that. So, okay, you see MZ here. Then uh, this program cannot be run in DOS mode, and here you find PE. So it is uh, definitely a PE file.